Welcome to the 2019 Build Exido Scholar Application. My name is Becky, and I am a Build Exido Outreach Project Manager, and I'm also a social work researcher. First, we are going to start with a brief overview of Exido and provide an introduction to the application process. We are excited that you're interested in becoming an Exido Scholar. Our application opens on December 10th, 2018, and closes on February 20th, 2019. As you may know, Build Exito is an undergraduate research training program for students in health-related majors, funded by the National Institutes of Health, or the NIH. Students from PSU, community colleges, and our partner institutions around the Pacific Rim are trained, mentored, and supported as a community of scholars. If you aren't sure if you're interested in research, consider this. Have you had an experience where you were curious about something? You had a question about it, you did some work to collect information about it, and then you considered what that information might mean. This is research. Exito's ultimate goal is to prepare our scholars for future research careers so they can advance our knowledge to improve health outcomes and address health disparities in our communities. Build Exito creates a successful pathway to a research career through providing supported science education, hands-on research experiences, career development workshops, and dedicated advising and mentoring. This series of videos will go section by section through the application. Please feel free to listen to the videos as you fill it out, pausing so you can complete the sections as we go. The primary university for Build Exito is Portland State University. PSU is working in partnership with Oregon Health and Science University, or OHSU. This opportunity is available for students at PSU and our partner institutions, which include Clackamas Community College, Clark College, Portland Community College, American Samoa Community College, Northern Marianas College, University of Alaska Anchorage, and the University of Guam. Exeter was looking for students who are interested in pursuing careers in health-related disciplines. That includes biomedical, behavioral, like psychology, sociology, or social work, clinical, health, and bioengineering sciences. There are many majors scholars can choose, and a complete list can be found on our website. We're looking for students who are really interested in science and research careers, and who are curious or excited to learn more about graduate education following their bachelor's degree. There are a few extremely important things to be aware of when it comes to our programming for this year. Let's first talk about eligibility. First off, all eligible scholars are either U.S. citizens, permanent residents, or non-citizen nationals. Scholars are full-time undergraduate students. Scholars are also registered at one of the Build Exito partner colleges or universities. Scholars have at least three years remaining in their degree program, with a graduation date no earlier than winter 2022. And students should also have a cumulative GPA of a 2.5 or higher. And if you have below a 2.5 GPA and you would still like to apply, please note within your essay questions some experiences you've had that still make you a strong candidate. To be eligible, Scholars must be enrolled at a Build Exito institution by spring 2019 and plan to attend an Exito institution in fall 2019. Scholars are expected to stay at the institution that they are accepted into for the first year of their program. Program acceptance does not transfer to other Exito institutions. For example, if you are accepted to PCC's Exito program and you want to transfer to PSU in that first year, you are not guaranteed a spot in PSU's Build Exito program. The program is designed to support students at a specific place on their pathway to a research career, so it's very important that scholars ensure that they have at least three years left to their degree completion, a graduation date no sooner than winter 2022. If you are not sure about how many years you have left until graduation, please connect with an academic advisor at your school. Applications are due on February 20th at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, regardless of your time zone. A complete application means that you have filled out each field in the application to the best of your ability. Within the application, you will upload your most recent unofficial college transcript, which you can usually get on your student dashboard at your institution. 
make sure that your graduation date is on this transcript. If you have attended more than one institution, you will need to upload these transcripts as well. Within the application, you will also find a reference form section. This is a place to put names and emails of the two people who will be providing you with a reference for the program. We will talk more about reference forms in a future segment. Next, we want to provide some essential information about the Exito program for our incoming cohort. Exito is a grant-funded program and is currently nearing the end of our five-year funding cycle. Because of this, programming and financial support after June 30, 2019 is contingent upon grant renewal. Support to Cohort 5 may include new scholar orientation, enrichment sessions, the Gateway to Research course, academic and financial advising, introductions to research opportunities, and faculty and peer mentoring for one year. These next videos will walk you through the different parts of the application to make sure that you have everything that you need to submit it successfully. Again, our application opens on December 10th, 2018 and closes on February 20th, 2019. Best of luck and thanks again for your interest in the Build Exito program. In this section, we will talk about the application process, which starts with the eligibility screen. When you go to the application website, you will likely need to create an account unless you have applied to a PSU scholarship before. Please remember your password. You will need this to get back in to work on your application. If you are applying from an Exito institution other than PSU, please know that all applications are funneled through the PSU system. So you will see a Portland State University logo on the banner of your application. The very first part of the application is called the eligibility screening. You will need to complete the screening first to advance to the full Build Exito application. The eligibility screening for Exito ensures that you meet the basic criteria for the Build Exito program. If you're eligible for Build Exito, you will be given the chance to proceed to the full application. This is only the first step. When you finish the eligibility screening, the text will say, congratulations, application submitted. After you receive your approval on that page, you will have a chance to select the full Build Exito application and move directly on to start your full app. If you want to work on the full application at another time, you will also receive an email confirmation. This email confirmation will say that you've completed the eligibility screening. This confirmation email will include a link to the full 2019 Build Exito Scholar application. If you get a message saying you are not eligible, you will have an opportunity to contact someone at your institution if you think you might be eligible. Here are some things to keep in mind. Once you are through the eligibility screening, the system will take you to the Build Exito application. You can start the application whenever you're ready, and your information will be saved every time you navigate to another page of the application using the Save Progress button. You do not have to complete the application in one sitting. If you want to complete your application at a later date, click Save and Log Out. When you click on the full application and log in, some of the demographic and personal information that you completed during the eligibility screening will be transferred automatically. However, there will be a few new additional fields that you will need to complete. Please fill out each field in the, to the best of your ability. If an answer is required, you will see a red asterisk just after the question. The first section of the application is a series of questions about your personal history and background. Specific demographics are not required to be a part of Build Exito. Anyone is welcome to apply and can be accepted into the program. However, we do ask these questions because we want to know as much as possible about our prospective scholars as we make up decisions about who will be in our next cohort. We welcome students of color, students with disabilities, students with lived experiences in foster care, and other students from diverse backgrounds and experiences to apply. We appreciate your willingness to share this personal information with us, and you can be assured that it is kept confidential. Please let us know if there's anything that we can do to assist you in putting forth your best application.
This segment of the video addresses the two short open-ended questions and the two essay questions. Your answers in this section help us to get to know you and gain a better understanding of your past experiences and your interests going forward. The application will time out after 30 minutes without use, so if you feel that you need more time than 30 minutes to answer the questions, you can log out, complete your answers in MS Word, a Google Doc, or any other similar word processor. Then log back into the system and copy and paste your answers in the field below each question. Very important, please note that if you do time out, your information will not be saved. If writing short answer and essay responses is intimidating or you're not quite sure where to start, keep in mind that there are no right answers to these questions. Some tips as you're brainstorming and outlining. Are there contributions that you might make to addressing health disparities or promoting health equity? So thinking about your unique perspective, what might you bring to the table to really help impact change around those things that you're very passionate about? Are there health issues in your family, for example, or maybe in your community that you have observed that may have contributed to your passion to pursue this specific educational and career pathway? Think through other ways that you might be able to contribute and to support diversity within the program. What we care about most is seeing your passion for solving problems and your connection to pursuing a health research pathway. The first questions are the short answer questions, limited to 150 words for each question. Here's the first one. Describe one experience that has made you interested in pursuing a career in research, science, or health. You may discuss a time when you pursued an answer to a question you were curious about, or an experience in a class, a lab, a summer camp, or observing and collecting data in nature, etc. Limit your answer to 150 words. Here's a tip to answering the question. Can you think of an example of a health-related topic that you've heard about, read about in the news, or found out about in class? Or do you think a lot about the health of people where you live? You can think about it both locally and globally. Question two. Tell us about a time you supported or contributed to a community. Give brief details about this community and how you supported or contributed to the community you described. Contributions can be anything from raising younger siblings to participating in a community service project. Community can include family, work, school, friends, religious groups, clubs, sports, etc. Please limit your answer to 150 words. Here's a tip for answering this question. Your community experience could have happened in a variety of settings. You aren't expected to have significant experience in these areas. The program is looking for people who can use examples from their past to describe their passion for helping others and can talk about their commitment to be involved and engaged in the community around them. Now we'll move on to the longer essay questions. Remember, we mentioned some tips for getting your writing started in the beginning. These two essay questions should not exceed 300 words. Question number one. What are your academic and career goals beyond an undergraduate degree? Include details about your interest in a biomedical, behavioral, social science, clinical, bioengineering, or health research career, and how your participation in Build Exito might support this pursuit. Please limit your answer to 300 words. Here's a tip for this question. We would like you to be honest, and we know that your goals may change, so we certainly recognize that what you envision as your academic and career goals could shift over time as you become aware of different opportunities. So this is normal and expected. We're hoping to get a better idea of your current thoughts on future educational and career goals, and to learn more about the issues and problems you are really passionate about and how you may address them in your future life and career. Be sure to include details on how you believe the program can support you in achieving your goals. Remember, there are very many different types of research careers and there are many different types of degree pathways. Question two, 
Build Exito brings together individuals from diverse backgrounds interested in health, science, and research. How have your unique or diverse life experiences fueled your interest in health, science, or research? This NIH-funded project engages individuals from diverse backgrounds as they pursue research careers in biomedical, behavioral, social science, clinical, bioengineering, or health. Please limit your answer to 300 words. Here's a tip. In this question, we're interested in how your unique or diverse life experiences are connected to your interests in health, science, or research. We'd really like for you, within this essay, to describe how your own individual perspective might contribute to diversity within the Build Exito program, and how your perspective has impacted the career and academic goals that you described in Essay 1. Let us know if you are a student that represents one or more of the following NIH-defined backgrounds. These include underrepresented minority, students from foster care, rural students, inner city students, students with disabilities, low-income students, or first-generation college students. A very important note is that being a student from a particular background is not required to be eligible as an Exito scholar. If you are working on your essay questions or any part of the application and you find you need a little bit more support, we will have drop-in sessions scheduled. Once you start the application, we will notify you of drop-in sessions at your institution. This segment is going to introduce you to reference forms and transcript uploads. Let's start with the reference forms. Asking for a reference can be difficult, but this is a great opportunity for you to connect with some of the individuals who want to support you in your future endeavors. We need you to choose two individuals who will provide a reference form on your behalf. These references can be from a faculty member, a teacher, an academic advisor, a supervisor, a mentor, or others who are familiar with your work in school or on the job. This can be an instructor, a TA or a teaching assistant, a professor who has seen your academic work, and this can include a high school teacher. It could also be someone that you've worked with as an intern or as a volunteer. Please note that we are seeking academic and professional references and not personal references such as those that might be provided by a family member. It is important that you give as much notice as possible to your references at a minimum two weeks. We will be emailing them after you submit your application and a prompt response will ensure that we have everything we need to consider your application. So ask them as soon as you can if they are willing to respond to a reference form and let them know it will be sent from Exito. The next topic is transcripts. We only need to get an unofficial transcript, which is usually available through your student services portal at your institution. If you are at PSU, you can get your unofficial transcript by logging into BandWeb and going to Student Services. Click Student Records and then find View Unofficial Transcript. At this point, you can hit Control P or whatever you select to print a document and then open the file in a PDF viewer. Your computer may also have an option for you to print as PDF. You can select this and save the document on your desktop to upload. Please note that the document that you upload must be in PDF format. If you have gone to more than one college or university, you may have more than one transcript to upload. You can usually find your unofficial transcripts in the Student Web Center for each college, and you should be able to save it as a PDF to upload. Having your transcripts uploaded before you submit your application is extremely helpful to be able to process your application in a timely way. You're almost there! Once you've filled out the entire application to the best of your ability, completed your short answers and your essay questions, you've identified two people to fill out a reference form, and you've uploaded your transcripts, you are almost done. Please note that the application will tell you if you've missed any questions or sections. 
When you get to the last screen, the application will show you a stop sign and a message that says, wait, you are not done yet. Scroll down and go to click here to modify your answers. That will take you straight to what you need to add or change. Applications are due on February 20th, 12 p.m. noon, Pacific Standard Time, regardless of your time zone. This means applications are due at the following times for these locations, and you will not be able to access the application after these times. For Alaska, this is February 20th, 2019, at 11 a.m. American Samoa, February 20th, 2019, at 9 a.m. Guam is February 21st, 2019, at 6 a.m. And Hawaii is February 20th, 2019, at 10 a.m. Northern Marianas Islands, February 21st at 6 a.m. When you are ready, you will click to submit your online application. Don't forget to upload your unofficial transcripts as part of the application. Within a few weeks, finalists will be contacted for a 15-minute phone interview. You should be sure to provide us with the correct contact information within your application so that we can reach you by phone. Applicants will be notified of acceptance by early April about their status in the program. We would like to wish you the best of luck in applying for the Build Exito program and we would like to thank you for your interest.